channel welcome to eminence yeah guys hope you guys are happy i hope you guys are healthy so today we are going to be talking about five ways how you can know you are compatible with someone okay so it's really fast and i know with the dating culture nowadays everybody's pretty much lazy you know we go for superficial things but the truth is you know you need to look at these things and if it actually corresponds and it correlates with how you live your life then there's a very high percentage that you guys might make it i think number one distance depending how far you and the specific person are towards like the distance that is between you guys so let's make an example if you're living in cape town and your specific person lives in Joburg, right you guys need to obviously understand that the nearer person the nearer the person is the easier it is for you to gain access to them and then the easier it is for you to fall in love with them i hope that makes sense and have a look at it this way yes you know um long distance relationships they can work out but bottom line is you are most likely going to fall in love with somebody who you can actually see in a matter of minutes you know it shouldn't take you hours you shouldn't have to wait for five months that will most likely guarantee that you at least got like a 20 percent chance of making it work number two um do not date potentials by this i mean do not date someone who you feel has got the potential to be the specific person that you see yourself be with so this would go for perhaps you want to date someone that is like we've all got preferences right so let me you want to date somebody who's kind but this person comes across as being very arrogant and you don't see any of those kind traits within the person that's and maybe you, you feel that you need to maybe hang around that person a little bit more up until maybe you guys you, you find the kindness and you, and you maybe can distinguish it in how he the relationship he has with his friends or strangers number one you always want to look at how a person you know you know treats strangers people who can do nothing for him like if you guys are on a date how he treats the, the waiter how he treats the waitress how he tips them that will kind of like tell you the type of person that you are so number two do not date a person who is not exactly what you want but rather a potential okay because everybody's got potential honey everybody you want to date everybody uh number three compatibility will also count in terms of spirituality let's make an example if you're gonna be like if you're atheist right and you believe that you would make your own decisions you were here and for some reason or whatever the case is you don't even want to go into it because you know that you exist and you exist in the moment and you don't need to pray to any god for you know any you don't worry about what happens to your soul after you pass away you're just here to live life perhaps now you need to date you you're attracted to a female who's like a scorned christian who truly truly believes in christianity who's truly truly spiritual who believes that she's here for a specific reason and she's here to um whatever you know spirituality is different we go into spirituality for different reasons so you can see that the two do not go together there is going to be a conflict one way along the lines within the relationship i understand they can be tolerant i understand that they could be you guys can try and meet each other in the middle but somewhere along the line there will be conflict because of that number four finance okay so if you guys are going to go into a relationship i usually say this if you are not financially stable going into a relationship is not really a good idea reason being is that i feel relationships are expensive um to look good as a female to smell good as a woman to turn up is it requires money and if you were a man and you don't even have money for the first date and so forth then perhaps maybe you don't want to go into you know a relationship everybody should be able to date that's fine but those are things to consider you also do not want to find yourself getting married to somebody who's most likely like in you know who's got like a bad credit record imagine now you guys need to get married and all of a sudden that becomes your day too that can also cause conflict that's number four number five okay conflict resolution conflict resolution that needs to be really high 
if both of you guys are stubborn people and you guys are so set in your ways that if you guys are in a conflict and you guys cannot um, perhaps like work things out at the end of the evening you guys cannot compromise you guys cannot talk to each other in order for you guys to resolve the initial conflict to listen to each other not to respond but to listen to understand each other and you guys are not matured in that level it's not gonna work it's not gonna work because one of you guys is probably gonna leave and be like you know what I'm gonna deal with your shit I'm leaving or maybe the other one is probably gonna be like they're gonna ignore what you just said and they're gonna ignore everything that you, you just and they're gonna come back the following day and be you oh, know sorry I love you and you know then you're gonna feel like you know this person is just like me so that's the last point guys i hope this is helpful and i hope maybe you can apply this into your dating life this is for the singles out there this is for the queens that are trying to find their kings remember don't try and find your king honey up until you happy inside baby girl baby oh shit it came baby <laughs> well guys thank you so much don't forget to like share and subscribe i'm gonna put this back on channel